planted by the riverside in the living waters. We shall fear neither heat nor cold. We shall continue to be fruitful. Our leaves will never wither. We shall continue to be fruitful because we are indeed planted in you. Planted in you and you only. It doesn't matter what storms come raging at us. We know that you are God and you have already seen us through. Victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. Victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. Victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, we thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, the triune God that remains with us and never will leave us or forsake us. We thank you as I open this service in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. We hail Hosanna in the highest. We hail the Lion of the tribe of Judah. We give him all the glory because he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He died and paid the ultimate price for us. This is the time we celebrate our King. This is the time we celebrate our God for the ultimate price of salvation. We say he's alive. We bless your name, O Lord. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, oh hallelujah, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living the Lord is good forevermore oh the Lord is my portion in the land of the living the Lord is good forevermore oh the Lord is my portion the door you are the owner of my soul the first abundant that never consumes what shall I render to you O Lord I will bow down and worship your name you are the Lord You are the 
Jesus.
We give you all the glory. We honor you. Father, there is none like you. The one that corrects and loves us, Lord. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. May your name be exalted. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I will sing Hosanna to the Lamb who never die. I will sing Hallelujah to the Lamb that was slain. You are the one who was and is to come. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. I say, I will sing hallelujah to the King of kings. I will sing Hosanna to the Lamb who never died. You are the one who was and is to come. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. I say, you are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty
God who has given us victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. He Amen. said, I am the Lord. I change it none. That is why we live in waters, Shiloh Temple, we are not consumed. Hallelujah. Because the Lord Almighty is in our midst. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome yourself to your father's house. Say, I welcome myself. I welcome myself. This is my father's house. This is my father's house. I am here today, I'm here today to, receive to receive from my Father because I know, because I know that my Father, my father has, good has good things for me. Hallelujah. Amen. If you believe that, put your hands together Hallelujah. for Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We all testify of the glory. Amen. We thank God for the fasting, for the prayers, for the breakthrough, for the wonders, for the miracles. All the good things you have been doing in our midst. Hallelujah. Amen. And we welcome our mama. Hallelujah. The first lady. Hallelujah. Of living waters. Assembly of God Joy. She's looking wonderfully, beautifully. Hallelujah. That is my English. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, mama. God will continue to increase the anointing. And our papa is in Calgary. He will join us this weekend. For the Easter conference. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I will invite Judah Priest to come and give us the administration. After this, we will take the tithe and the offering. Judah Priest, let's put our hands together for Judah Priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, 
So we want to take uh, our tithe and our offerings. Uh, we will drop them on the altar. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. So let's prepare our tithe and our offerings. Our covenant, all the good things we brought before the house of the Lord today. Sacrifices. All the seed we brought before the Lord today. Let's prepare them. Let's pay over our offering, our tithe, our seed, our sacrifices. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We adore your name and we give you all the glory. By your command, we come to your house, O Lord, today with our tithe, our offering, sacrifices, our seed, even the first fruit, all different kinds of of all, all sacrifices we brought before you today. Lord Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, accept them in the mighty name of Jesus. We give abundantly. Lord, your word say, whoever does so abundantly will reap abundantly. We sow abundantly. 
We will reap abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will never lack in the name of Jesus because there is no lack, Almighty Father, in your provision to us. Heavenly Father, therefore, we pray in the name of Jesus that we have abundance in everything in the name of Jesus, financially, materially, spiritually. We have abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. We have sufficiency in everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are bound to every good work in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray that we walk in favor. We will find favor before men in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the voice of our seed, the Almighty Father, let it begin to speak even favor on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the voice of our seed, O oh Lord, connect us even to our destiny us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless you and we give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. What won't you do? What can't you do? Nothing impossible when I go. Can never ever exist, oh. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist, oh. It can never ever exist. You do not lie, you do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist, oh. It can never exist. What can't you do? What can't you do? What won't you do? Never, never lie. Hallelujah. It's not a man that he should lie. Amen. Hallelujah. He said his word that he has sent forth, it will never return to him void until it accomplishes the reason why he has released the word. Hallelujah. He has been releasing the word, and the word is going to be released again today directly from the throne room of God to his anointed servant. Hallelujah. The powerful woman of God. The rich one Buddha, hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. the one and only Mama Rose of Abata of Canada, Mama Rose International, hallelujah, Amen. let's put our hands together as I invite the puppy, our Mama in the Lord, hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hands to all ye people. And let's give the Lord a shout of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And wave a wave offering to our God. He reigns forever. Amen. He reigns 
forever. What an awesome time in his presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Day 14 of our fasting. Amen. The Lord is good. Yes. And his mercy endures forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to sing him 205. We are going to launch our covenant fund tonight. Hey, today. Because of ministry in the evenings, I like saying tonight. Hallelujah. This is our fundraiser for the year. Amen. Amen. We don't do harvest. We don't do anything. This is our fundraiser for the year. Amen. This year we delayed it by one month to give us time to recover whatever pledges we are still owing from last year and the previous years. Amen. So $1,000 and above. If you can support, the envelopes are here, covenant envelopes. Amen. We will launch it very soon. Covenant, Yom Covenant. Amen. Yes. $1,000 to 100000 Amen. Amen. <laughs> but, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, very soon. We'll be signing checks for God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Easter is coming this week. It's a special week. We've entered the special week, Passover, of our God. The blood has picked better things. That has made us who we are. Hallelujah. I'm so happy it's Easter that we can celebrate what our Lord Jesus has done for us. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm repeating it again. What can wash away?
Father of the heavenly light, we sing of the blood of Jesus because that is what has brought us from sin into your sheepfold. That is what has redeemed us ah, from darkness into your wonderful light. It's the blood that speaks better things for us. It's the blood that has given us a covenant, a new covenant with you, Father. And because we are covenant keeping God, we are here today worshiping, offering, and to hear from you. Thank you for being with us from the beginning of the service till now. Thank you for speaking to us. Oh, this week is our celebration week. The festival of the blood of Jesus Christ. We shout the blood to the heavens. We shout the blood to the earth. We shout the blood to the delta. The blood of Jesus Christ. Sin has no power over us. Death has no power over us. We have victory over evil because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for your blood. Therefore, let the blood cover us today and this week of the celebration of the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, inspire us by your word. Give us revelation and understanding by your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Be seated. Be seated. Deacon has already asked you to welcome yourself to the house of your father. And I also welcome you to the house of the father this morning. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to see my mistress mother from, from Fort Mac. And the grandmother is here as well. God is good. Hallelujah. We thank God. And if you are worshiping with us for the first time, I welcome you to Shiloh Temple, the house of destiny fulfillment, where Jesus is doing awesome wonders in our midst, where he turns our lives around, where they say there is no way, he makes a way. Oh, let the amen sh uh, ring to the heaven. Shout it out. Shout it out. Hallelujah. So, get the song ready, redeem how I love to proclaim it. This week, I want to hear all the Easter hymns. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. The covenant envelopes are here. You want to pledge, come forward and take one. It's our covenant with our God. Hallelujah. This is our covenant with our God. You fill the envelope. You put your pledge amount on it. Nikki, come and help me. Come and help me. Yes, let them pick it from your hands on the altar. Yeah, give some to Nikki. Stand One stand here, one stand there. Yes, let's give it to the people. And the way you feel it, you bring it back to me. Hallelujah. We keep it throughout the year in the altar place. And whenever you are ready to redeem it, we have extra covenant envelopes. You put that redemption money in that covenant envelope. And then it is recorded accordingly for you. And every three months we'll have our covenant night. And then Oh, redeem, redeem, his child and forever I am. The covenant fund, keep standing, keep standing. The covenant fund is a special pledges we apply to loans and mortgage and the outreach ministry. Very soon, summer will come. We have to go and do the feed and maintain. Last year, those of you who were in downtown, you saw what happened. How the meals, we had to order two sets of meals because it was never enough. We give clothing, we give toiletries, backpacks, jackets, and all of that. Give me one so I can feel for myself. Hallelujah. So take it and fill it and let's bring it 
Oh, redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed by His infinite mercy. His child and forever young. Hallelujah. of Jesus. This is my covenant envelope for 2024 year, which I'm holding before you. This is a free will giving over and above my tithe and my offerings. In federance of the missionary work and activities of your house. Therefore, Lord, you are covenant keeping God. Oh, that you open the heavens and pour upon me such a good measure, press down, shaking together a harvest of financial blessing that will make me a sign and a wonder through this token I hold before you as a pledge. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Ready? Yeah, ready. Hallelujah. The week, the covenant envelopes will be used with the deacons. And as you are thinking about it, we are not pledging because we have something to give. But we are trusting in him. Amen. I am trusting the Lord Jesus. Jesus. 
Trust in only Jesus. Trust in Him for full salvation. There's a verse that says, I am trusting thee for food, for provision. Can you put that verse there? I have been contributing to the covenant since its inception in 2015. And I have not regretted at all. Hallelujah. Yeah. There are those who test God. We keep testing him. And we've seen that he's true. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. There's an old Assemblies of God song. He said, um, it's true. Oh, yes, it's true. God's wonderful promise is true. I've trusted and tested and trusted. And I know his promise is true. Me, I'm a testimony that God cannot fail. Amen. God cannot fail. I'm a living testimony. So when I say something, I'm saying it to you because I have experienced it. And I'm still experiencing it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Where is my hymn? Where is my hymn? I've trusted and tested and tried it. And I know it's wrong. I am trusted for provision. Where is it? There's a verse like that. You can't find it. I wanted to sing it to you. Okay. Hallelujah. All right, my son, did you take an envelope? Oh, come and take an envelope. Share. Sure. God is going to bless you in the land. Come. Come and grab it. Take him. Come and stand there. Let him take from your hand. Yeah. No, just forget about the keyboard. Yeah. God is going to bless you. Money is not going to be no problem at all. Yeah. Clap for my son. Yeah. Yeah. Just write on it. Write the amount. And then come. And, give, and put it in my hands and I'll put it on the altar for you. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you want to marry, grab one and trust God. Amen. If you want to marry, grab one and trust God. Uh, Auntie Patricia, why are you looking backwards? Do want, somebody behind you wants to marry. Who wants to marry? Ah. Dickie! Don't pick it up. Let her. Let him save you. Trust God. I am trusting you for my wedding. Amen. Bring me a good man. Amen. Right? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you want a new job, salary increment, and you haven't grabbed one, come and grab one. My son Michael, stop scratching. Come and grab one. <laughs> Enoch, grab one. Yes. I want my sons to be blessed. Go to Dickie, collect it. Fill it out. Yes. I want my children to be blessed. I want my children to be blessed. I want to see them blessed in this land. I am trusting. Trust in only thee. Hey, I am trusting. Hey, trust in trust trust Put it in my hands. I connect you to the prayer I pronounce. Yes. Yes, I am, am trusting. Trust Kevin, did you grab one? Trust did you grab? Lord. Hey, you know what? Come and grab, come and grab. Thousand dollars is nothing. By the time you know you have paid it. Share. Covenant keeping God. You keep his covenant. Hey, trust. I really want to see our generation blessed in this land. 
If you suffered and you hustled, your children must not suffer and hustle. Amen. I decree it in this house. What we suffered and hustled for, they will not suffer and hustle for it. Yes. I pronounce the blessings on you. I pronounce the blessings on you. Yes. The blessings on you, yes. Ah, yeah. yeah, hurry up and bring yours so I can go into the message. Trust me, yes. I pronounce the blessings on you. I am trusting, yes. I pronounce the blessings on you. Left on it. It was almost 50,000. 45 something. She said, Mama, meet me at the bank. I didn't know the lady. She was describing when I see how she looks like. We went to the bank. She paid off that money cash. And counted money in my hands. Mommy, this is for your gas. If I didn't give that 10,000, that 10,000, if I put it on the car, I would have still been left with a balance of 30 something thousand. You understand? <laughs> but trusting God and giving Him that, He paid all. I told you. I told you on Friday. He said this car is going to be paid off again. Trust Him. Trust him and test him and see. The one who says, test me and see. You will see that he's a, he's a good God. You see how he spoke to us this morning in the worship? Only few people were here Sunday school. What we were talking about, hammering it in Sunday school. That is exactly what came through the prophecy. God wants to bless us. So we should open our hearts and let go of everything and look up to him whose face is radiant. And the things of this world will grow dimly in the light of his glory. Hallelujah. When the lights fall in pleasant places for you, 
Batum. He is the controller of the boundary lines. He's the one that has the measuring line in his hand. He's the one that orders our steps. 2024 young. Anyway, happy young. Happy young. Happy young. Happy young. Oh. The one with the measuring line in his hands. The one that gives the boundary lines. The boundary lines can fall in pleasant or unpleasant places. You can take your seat. The message has begun. Yeah. God bless you. Let's clap for the wonderful ladies of the house. Mm. Oh, my son is smiling and looking at me. Yeah. Eh? The last time we saw the man with the measuring line. Before the thing takes place in the natural, it's already established supernaturally. Hallelujah. Eh. So, we are going to look at the, how the boundary lines work. We've already seen when the lines fall in pleasant places for you, the result is you have a rich inheritance. You have a generational inheritance. Everlasting inheritance. We have seen it. It breaks the limitation. When the boundary lines fall in pleasant places, the limitation is removed. Then the Lord says, I myself become a wall around my people. If the Lord himself is a wall around you, who can push him away? You understand? How wide the Lord wants to make you, who can stop him? He said there will be such an abundance, such an increment of their blessings. We saw it. Hallelujah. Now, the story in Genesis 40. Two men. Two men. Today we are looking at practical examples. When the boundary lines fall in pleasant places, surely you have a rich inheritance. The determiner is God himself. Two men. They all did wrong. They all ended up in prison. Now what happened? Let's read the story. But not everybody knows the story. From verse 1. From verse 1. And it came to pass after these things. Yes. That the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt mm -hmm. offended their lord. They offended their lord. The king they of Egypt. They were both in their positions. Chief baker. He is the chef. Imagine the chef of the palace. They are very important people, you know. Very important people that cook for the king and the queens and whatnot. Very important people. And the cup bearer, the one who holds the king's cup and must taste the drink to make sure there's no poison in it. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you occupy that position? <laughs> it takes God to help you. <laughs> Pharaoh was angry with his two officials, yes. the chief cup bearer uh -huh. and the chief baker, uh -huh. and pulled them in custody in yes. the house of the captain of the guard. Yes. In the same prison where Joseph was confined. Yeah, in the same prison, Joseph was there. Uh -huh. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph, uh -huh. and he attended them after they had been in custody for some time. Mm -hmm. Each of the two men the cup bearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, uh -huh. who were being held in prison, uh -huh. had a dream the same they night. They both had dreamed the same night. It's not coincidental. It's not coincidental. They are being shown what has been drawn for them. The boundary lines. They were both in prison. They were both limited now. They were both confined now. They were at a loss. One night, two dreams. One night, two dreams. Uh-huh. 
and each dream had a meaning of its own. Okay. When Joseph came to them the next morning, yes, he saw that they were dejected. Uh huh. So he asked Pharaoh's officials who were in custody, yes, with him in his master's house, mm -hmm. why do you look so sad today? Yes. We both had dreams. They answered, yes. But there is no one to interpret so them. So it means they have shared their dreams with each other, but they did not understand their dreams. So they were both so sad. Yes. Then Joseph said to them, Yeah. Do not interpretations belong to God? Uh -huh. Tell me your dream. Yes. So the chief court bearer told Joseph his dream. Yes. He said to him. He said to him. In my dream. In my dream. I saw a vine in front of a me. A vine. In that day, you will sing of a fruitful vine. In this year, you will sing of a fruitful vine. I, the Lord, I do what? I watch over it. And I do what? I water it continually. I don't water today and stop. I don't water this month and stop. I water it continually. And I do what? I got it. Lest anyone should harm it. No harm when you are the vineyard of the Lord. No harm when you are in the vineyard of the Lord. No harm when you are that fruitful vine of the Lord. He saw a vine. He saw a vine. And it wasn't just a vine. It was a fruitful vine. Fruitful vine. Look, when the boundary lines shift, your dream life must change from ugly dreams to beautiful dreams. Yeah. He saw a vine. And what happened to the vine? And on the vine were three branches. On the vine, three branches. As soon as it So ordered. it was already a fruitful one. It had branches. That branches. And then what? It blossomed. As soon as it budded, it, it blossomed. blossomed. Now it didn't go through the process. When 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 the flowers bud, the budding is the flower stage of the fruit. It doesn't become a fruit overnight. Blossom is when the fruit is ripening on it. So when the bud comes, you see that the flower will die off and fall down before you see a small piece of the fruit. And it takes time for the fruit to become big and even for it to wrap it. But this one, as soon as it budded, it blossomed. Amen. It blossomed. Amen. Think of the fruitful vine that the Lord is watching and watering it continually. He was being shown the boundary lights, but he couldn't understand. You will dream the same dream. Amen. This week you will dream the same dream. Amen. I say somebody will dream the same dream. Amen. This is your Think of the fruitful vine. I, the Lord, watch it. So it has, I can decide, let it be ripe overnight. Let it blossom overnight. He's sovereign God. He didn't let it go through that long process. Some long processes have been cut short. Oh. Amen. If you don't receive the blessing, I will take it for myself. He didn't go through the process. He didn't go through the process. It was jump. It was jump. It was jump. If they would obey the Lord and do the right, he said they will eat the fruit of the land. And they will be the head. And the head only. If they will be and serve the Lord, that's what the word says. If they will be and serve the Lord, 
then the Lord of your God will set you above all people. The Lord your God, that is what it means. Then the Lord your God will set you above for all people. It means the process, eh, it takes 10 years to go from the salary scale, from the bottom to the top. 10 years. The Lord your God, where he's setting you above other people, you can be there one year. You can be there only two years. You may not even have a, a priority when it comes to vacation. But the Lord your God will jump you eight years onto the scale. I testify about it. God did it for me in the land. God did it for me. God did it for me. He would do it for somebody here. God did it for me. Yeah. He would do it for you too. He will set you up all people. Yeah. If you obey and serve the Lord, the Lord your God will set you above all people. It's a different scripture. It's a, I think it's Deuteronomy 10, 1 or some. It's a different one from Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. You do obey and serve the Lord. Then the Lord your God will set you above all people. Yeah. The boundary line, when it's drawn, that's what you experience in the natural realm. That's what you experience. 10, 8, 1 or 11, 1. Check. Just type. If they will obey and serve the Lord, their God, then he will set them above all people. Have you found it? Or you are searching? Good. Search. It's there. That is how it works. How can a vine just bad and instantly it blossom? Yeah. Yeah. If you obey the Lord, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe him, obey and serve. It is obey and serve the Lord. Then the Lord your God will set you above. Oh, the people. Hallelujah. How can something bad and blossom instantly? And that's what he saw in a dream. But the boundary line was drawn in pleasantness, in pleasant places for him. And then what happened in the dream? And it clustered ripening into grapes. Ah. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. How come the cup was in his hand? He has offended his master. The cup was taken from him. He's been put in prison. But you see, when the boundary lines fall in pleasant places, that blessing is put back in your hands. Amen. Amen. That blessing... It's a supernatural thing. It has to happen before you see it in the natural. For you, oh Lord, you are my portion, am I? Ah. You keep my Lord secure. The cup has been taken from him. He's been judged guilty and imprisoned. But as the boundary line shifted in pleasantness for him, he saw the cup back in his hands. Oh, may that cup fall back into your hands. May that cup fall back into your hands. May that cup fall back into your hands. Because the lines are falling in pleasantness for you. Pleasant places. The cup was put in his hands. I had Pharaoh's cup in my hands. Hmm. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. And look at the step he took. He grabbed the grapes, squeezed them into the cup. And he said what? And placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. It means he has come close to Pharaoh. It means he had come close to Pharaoh. Now he's standing next to Pharaoh. 
Do you see that? Otherwise, if Pharaoh was not around, what would he do with the cup? Nothing. But instantly, you can see things were happy instantly. He squeezed that action of putting it in the cup. The instant Pharaoh was around, he went and placed it in Pharaoh's hand. Ah, I see the Lord keeping you. I see the Lord keeping you. You may not know how. You may not know when. You will do it. Because the boundary lines have fallen in pleasant places. It means my place is no longer in the prison. My position has shifted from the prison back to the palace. Because if Pharaoh instantly is standing by me, that means I am back in the palace. You are back in the palace. I say you are going back to the palace. You are going back to the palace. Because I cannot sell Pharaoh in prison. So it means I was out. The boundary line has shifted from the prison to the palace. Pleasant place. Pleasantness. Pleasantness. That's why I say we are the pleasant planting of the Lord. Let that pleasantness surround everyone hearing the sound of my voice today. Let all unpleasantness go far from you. And let surroundings all around you be pleasantness. Ah. Joseph was so happy to hear this man. Really? You squeezed the wine? You gave it to Pharaoh? Three branches, three days. Three branches, three, three days. days. You are being restored. And I, it's one of the things I said. When the boundary lies fall in pleasant places for you, you are restored. And this is a practical example how God can restore you. Restoration. So many people are being restored. Be among those being restored. I am among those being restored. Because the boundary lines have shifted. You are no longer in prison. You are no longer a slave. You are no longer the tail above the head. You skip the process because God promotes you. He lifts you from that low hash deep and sets you above with princes and kings, with diplomats, with high-ranking people. That is what the boundary lies when they fall in pleasant places. That is what you experience. May the boundary lines fall in pleasant places. May the boundary lines fall in pleasant places for you. So, he has a rich inheritance. Because now, he can go back to his blessing. And so Joseph said, you have, you'll be restored in three days. You'll be restored in three days. And, and scripture say, in three days... Pharaoh decided to celebrate his birthday. Ah! Because of you, a celebration will go on. Amen. Because of you, a celebration will go on. Because your own lives and my own lives have fallen in pleasant places. And according to the word, he was restored. Back to his position. You see, but when it doesn't fall in pleasant places, let's look at that also from verse 14. Verse 14. So that you will see the difference. So that you will appreciate and pray that Lord let the boundary lines fall in pleasant places for me. Yes, verse but remember 14. Remember me when it is well with you. And please show kindness to me. Make mention Jump of to me. 15. For indeed I was stolen away from oh, the land. Oh, 16. 
When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was the good. The chief baker! Uh -huh, he saw that the interpretation was good. He said to Joseph, Yes. I also was in my I dream. I also was in my dream. And there were three white baskets on my baskets. head. Baskets! There should be baskets! Because I'm the chief baker. I bake all the goodies. I bake all the delicacies. That is fit for a king. So his position was shown him too. He got to have, not, he didn't even have one. See, the cabra had only one cup in his hand. This one, three baskets, meaning that his own blessing was triple. Triple. Three baskets, carrying three baskets on his head, not one. Three. Career of goodies. Career of big things. Fit for a king. He said, I was carrying what? Bread. A big goose. For Pharaoh. Now, it says bread in the first two. The uppermost one had the big goods. But he says he was carrying bread. Can you read 16 again? When the chief baker saw that interpretation yeah. was good, yeah. he said to Joseph, yes. I also was in my dream. Yeah. And there were three white baskets on my head. Uh -huh. In the uppermost basket were all kinds of baked goods. Yo, th this one doesn't say the bread. I was reading it this morning. It says it had bread in the first two baskets. And the uppermost one, uh -huh, and the uppermost one had all kinds of big goose in it. He was carrying them. This is his own portion. You see, this is his own portion. This, you keep my lot. What? So this is his lot. We are all carrying our lot. He's carrying his own lot. The uppermost one. So the first two. Are covered by the other basket, right? The uppermost one. Every good thing you are looking for is in it. But look at what happened. But the birds were eating them. Hey! The, the best of the air. These are goods for who? Pharaoh. These are goods for Pharaoh. This is bread for Pharaoh. This is goodies for Pharaoh. I'm a chief baker, not to the birds. I'm a chief baker to who? Pharaoh. You see, the first one, instantly he saw Pharaoh. He put the cup in Pharaoh's hand. The lines have fallen in pleasantness. Now this one did not see Pharaoh. This three basket with the goodies in the third one should have been presented to Pharaoh. But there was no Pharaoh. There was no Pharaoh. He said there were devourers. There were devourers. He did not beg them for the devourers. He did not work for the devourer. But the birds of the air, the devourers, instantly, instead of Pharaoh showing up, they are the ones that showed up. And they started eating them eating them from his head. What an unpleasantness. You see, do you understand? I've taken my time to explain it. You see, when the lights are not in pleasant places, you can be carrying a good blessing, but the devourer will be eating it. The devourer will be eating it. Instead of you to be connected to where you are supposed to be, you are not. You understand? The best of the air were not in the prison. The best of the air were not in the palace. It means he was in an open space. And they saw him carrying three baskets full of good things. And because the lights had not fallen for him in pleasant place, it was open for them to devour it. So that is why people of Shiloh and all people hearing me online, God is a determiner. You have to pray. 
that your lines will fall in pleasant places. Otherwise, your life become wasted. Your labor become wasted. He begged those things. He begged them as a chief baker to present to the king. But he was never in the palace. He was in the open field. And the best ate it. And I'm sure Joseph was so sad. He said, yeah, you are going to be hung. And the best of the air will eat you up as you are hanged up in three days. In three days! Where do you want your lines to fall? Pleasant place. So you have a rich inheritance. Or in unpleasantness. So that there's nothing left for you. Nothing left for you. When we read Zachariah chapter 2, eh? The best of the year had eaten up the blessing of the children of Israel. They were in captivity. They've been eaten up. Their lot was no longer secure. They were in misery. And that is when God said, Now I'm shifting the boundary lines to pleasant places. And he said, Jerusalem shall once again be filled with people and with livestock. Innumerable that no one can count. Showing you that it can fall in unpleasant places. I pray that by the mercies of God, we who have received this message here in Shiloh Temple, the lines will locate us in pleasant places. In pleasant places. In pleasant places. Because we are not, when you force in pleasant places, I say you can be in that situation for so long, eh? but God's power just kicks you out. Amen. You just come out and you have overtaken everybody who has gone ahead of you. Because as soon as the vine budded, it blossomed and became ripe. May not the divorce devour anything that's a blessing you are carrying on your head. May our goal cause our lives to fall in pleasant places for us. So we will have a rich inheritance. May your life not be wasted. Let me give you one more example. One more example. One more example. Nehemiah, hey, chapter 2. Hey. I said, when this boundary lines, hey, I'll pray them all the days of my life. These boundary lines, I'll pray them all the days of my life. Because the blessing that come with it when they shift into pleasant places is unimaginable. It's unimaginable. He went to the king. Their lines were not in pleasant place at the time. So he went to the king sad. The king said, why is your face like this? He was afraid. He said, I was afraid. But because the lines were about to shift. So instantly, I asked the king, why should it my face be sad? <laughs> Continue from there. When the city, the place of my father's throne, uh -huh. lies waste and its gates are burned with fire, yeah. then the king said to me, uh -huh. what do you request? Ah. So I prayed to the God So of I Earth. prayed! Hey, how can the king just ask you what do you request? The lines were shifting. Amen. The lines were shifting. I said they are shifting, oh. And they have shifted, oh. Amen. Into pleasant places. Ah. I pray. And the one who says, 
he is a sun and a shield. To all who fear him, this year, he has come with grace and glory, Amen. favor, and honor. So I've, re I've released the favor and the honor. Speak to the king. Some of you, you'll be asked, how much should we pay you? You better not say something small. Say something very, very big. Say something very, very big. I said somebody one day gave me, gave me a, I said the bag was full of money in bundles. The person said, take. Hey. Instead of taking one bundle, I look at $100 here and 250 somewhere and I pick those ones. And the person closed the bag and said, you don't have faith. What you've taken is what you get. He said, I thought you would grab one bundle. Jehovah, I said, please, open the bag for me again. Opportunity gone. Ah! I'm praying that God will open another bag for me. I'll collect 10 bundles. You know, when I saw the money, I was like, maybe this person is going to use this to pay for something. Look at the thought I was having. And I just pick these three notes, $200. Meanwhile, you know, there were $100 bundles. I just said, oh, you don't have faith. What you pick is what you, I thought you would pick one bundle and say thank you. No! Oh! Don't let this happen to you. May the boundary line fall in pleasant places for you. Because I didn't believe that I can have it. So I couldn't have it. Don't do that to yourself. I have learned the hard way. I've learned the hard way. I told you the Jewish man, the woman who was about to die, who told me, why are you here? I want to sign all my wealth to you. He said, I have nobody here. The government will take all my money. Let me sign for you. You can take all of it. You can go back home and take care of your people and do good to people back home. I was afraid. I was afraid because... I missed the woman so well. She... Opportunities. Up to now, I beat myself. I don't know what was in that package. The line was falling in pleasant place for me as early as I was here, and I was running from it. 
May you not run from your own line. May you not run from your own line. When the life falls in pleasant places, take it. Take it. I say up to now. I still beat my hand like this. I say, God, let another opportunity like this come. Let another opportunity like this come. Let opportunity like this come. like him. Amen. When he noticed the light had fallen presently before the king for him, he said what? I said to the king, uh -huh. if it pleases the king, uh -huh. and if your servant has found, and if favor, I found favor in your, sight, in your sight, I ask that you send me to Judah, uh -huh. to the city of you, my You, you the king, home, you are the one sending me. Yes. That I may rebuild it. Can you imagine? Uh -huh. Then the king said to me, uh -huh. the queen also sitting beside him, uh -huh. how long will your journey be? Yes. And when will you return? Uh -huh. So it pleased the king to send me. And so I the king said, you time. can go. How long will it be? It will take you three months, one year. Just go. That is it. It has ended with the king. But he took advantage of the pleasant line that has fallen for him. He didn't just say, thank you, king. How is he going? You understand? So what happened? Furthermore, I said to the furthermore, king. Furthermore! Somebody said, today I claim the furthermore. Today I claim the furthermore. Ah! Furthermore! It's not enough to say, go, I'm sending you. I said what? If it pleases the king, let uh -huh. letters be given to me. Letters! Letters! Every province I get, a letter from the king. Hey! This is no easy request. Yes. For the governors of the region beyond the river, uh -huh. that they must permit me to pass through till uh -huh. I come to Judah. Uh -huh. And a letter to Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest. Look at that! And another letter to the keeper of the king's forest. I want access there. Hallelujah. Amen. That he must give me timber. He must give me timber. To make beams for the gates of the citadel. Uh -huh. Which pertains to the temple, for the city wall, uh -huh. and for the house that I will occupy. Not only for the temple, oh, and for the city wall. Oh. For my house, where I am going to live to. May that spirit be upon us all. Oh. You understand? He did not let go the opportunity at all. Let letters be given me every region I get. The governors will receive me. Emissary from the king. I have letters from the king. And let me have access to the forest. The forestry minister. Give me a letter to give him. Timber for my own house. Timber for the wall. Timber for the temple. Ah, already. May God make us like that. And then what? And the king granted them to me according to the good hand of my God upon May me. the good hand of the Lord be upon his people. May the good hand of the Lord be upon his people. That is when the lines have fallen in pleasant places. Because the line has fallen. The hand of the Lord has shifted his, his boundary line to pleasantness. The good hand of the Lord be upon his people. This third week of our waiting. And this week of the celebration of the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what happened? Then I went to the governors in the region beyond the river uh -huh. and gave them the king's letters. Yes. Now the king has sent captains of the army and all men with me. Captains of the army. 
not the soldiers who, the what? The captains, the heads of every infantry. The heads of every infantry. The heads of every infantry. Captains. So when you see them, they are not just ordinary commanders. They are the heads following this man and horsemen in front of him. Horsemen. What a protocol. What a kinship protocol. What a heavenly protocol. When the lights fall in pleasant places, how they welcome you when you enter that office. How they usher you in when you enter that building. You go like a king. You go in like a queen. You go in like the CEO son. Receive this blessing. Receive this blessing. Receive this blessing. This is the hand of the Lord. That is what God can do. And that is how this man, he took opportunity over the pleasantness that came his way. We'll continue another time. May the lines fall in pleasant places for us. You receive such a protocol, such favor. All your requests are granted because grace and glory, favor. You see the glory, horsemen in front of you. Who is he? He was a slave. You understand? He was a slave. Who is serving the king? Now the slave is on horseback because the lights have been drawn. Captains are his bodyguards. Horsemen that usher the king are in front of him. May we experience this pleasantness this third week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray and prophesy to yourself. Thank you, Jesus.